Today is LBT, legs, bum, and tongue. All right? Everything's modifiable. Remember, if something doesn't feel right, don't do it. We're going to do a lot of isometric holds today, time under tension. And again, weights or no weights. Everything can be done with body weight. Hands up, touch, squat, reach and look back, reach and look back, rise through the heels. Up, touch, squat down, look back, look back. Come on up one more time. Up, touch, squat, look back, look back, all the way up. Stay here. One, two, three, four. Turn and come on down from here. Drop the knee, lift the knee. Four of those. Three, two, one. And then that front toe comes up. We're going to sit back. Bring it forward and then push through the hip here. Sit it back, tilt the pelvis here and push through the hip. Two more, hinge back, press, last one, hinge back, press. Come back up, face forward, one, two, three, four. Other way, drop the back knee, bring it up, four, three, two, one. And then you're going to bring the front toe up, shift back, take it forward, you give me a good press, shift back, and give me a good press forward, toe up, tilt that pelvis, and press it forward, and one more, and press it forward. All right, we're going to do uh, what's called, is for mobility, guys. It's called the twist sit knee. What I want you to do is put your hands under your shoulders. Toes curled under, and you're going to lift up to that bear crawl position so your knees are stacked under your hips. So what we're going to do is work on our shoulder mobility and lower body rotation. This will strengthen those of us that are sitting so much of the day like this for that scapular strength. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Keep those shoulders straight and squared, pressing your hands into the ground. You're going to twist and try and sit down to your hip. The other knee comes up, but you're going to keep the shoulders squared in front. Come back to center. Twist and sit. Other knee comes up. Center. Twist and sit. Knee comes up. Center, twist and sit. One more time. Center, twist and sit. Center, twist and sit. And come up. Both toes curl under, push back into downward dog. And then bring it forward to a plank. Drop to the belly. Press up for four. Three, two, one, and all the way up. Shoulders roll back and down. And then toes curl under. Walk the hands back to the feet. Crouch down, uncoil. All right, we've got some, of course, some metabolic drills. The first one, knees are apart. We're in a plie squat. Hands are down and up. Now, look at my heels. I'm trying to lift my heels so it's not even a hop, it's a heel lift. Let's go for one minute. Starting right now. Lift through those heels right here. Chest up. So I'm not doing this right here. Heels up. Heels up. Heels up, heels up, heels up. Excellent, keep going. Heels up, heels up, heels up, heels up, heels up. 30 seconds. Now, if you want, you can turn this into a plie squat jump 
or continue with those heels up. Your choice. Let's get them really warm before we burn up those legs, bum, and tongue. Nice. Nice. All right, shake it out. The next one, the next drill is a skater. So, shoot, sorry guys. You're gonna get in a skater, skater position, right? Keep your chest proud. We're gonna stay low, isometrically hold. One foot for 30 seconds, front, side, back, side, front, that's it. Ready, and go. Front, side, back. You gotta really reach back, load that quad. Weight on your heel. This is called time under tension, but it's also an isometric hold. So those legs, this is great if you have knee issues, knee problems, knee pain, because it still works that quad heavily and doesn't use a whole lot of joint movement up and down, switch. Other side, tap in at center. We're just doing like a clock. So front side, back side, front side, back side. Yeah, stay low. Abdominals in. You guys got your shirts tucked in? Yeah? Sports bras, I can't see anybody. Keep going. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Grab a dumbbell, and I would say a light dumbbell, five to eight pounds or under. You can do it without a dumbbell. It's a halo slam. So we're gonna halo slam in the middle. Halo the other way, slam in the middle. Ready, and go. Slam, slam, slam. Now when it comes up top, you're not arching, so I'm not doing this. I'm keeping strong through my upper back. Slam it. Slam it. I've got a pretty good grip on that dumbbell as well. I want a lot of force going down. Awesome for core. Heart rate up. Just that upper body. To get right into the strength drills. We're going to do a side squat. Now, if you want dumbbells, use them or you don't have to. We're going to do a side squat. Notice my toe is straight ahead. It's not out. Straight ahead. Side squat. One, two, three. Bring it back in. Same leg goes back for a reverse lunge. One, two, three. Now we're going to hold it three seconds. But here's what I want you to try if you want to elevate it up. So weights or no weights, decide. But it's going to be one, two, three. Then try a balance move here. Then move to the reverse lunge, one, two, three. Balance move. Let's try that. About 12 reps each side. Right side or left side, doesn't matter, start. One, two, three. Up, reverse. One, two, three. Up, this side. Two, two, three. Push off. Woo! Back. One, two, three. Up. Third set, chest up, or third rep rather. And back. One, two, three. Up. Four, chest up, press off, and back. One, two, three. Up. Fifth rep. One, two, three. Up, back, one, two, three. Up, six, two, three. Up, back, two, three. Seven, two, three. One, two, three. So good. Eight, two, three. Push. Eight, two, three. 
nine, two, three. Nine, two, three. Ten, two, three. Let your fingers breathe. Ten, two, three. Eleven, two, three. Eleven, two, three. Twelve, two, three. Twelve, two, three. Fabulous. Other leg. Start to the side. Chest up. And then either step in or balance. And reverse. Let's go. One, two, three. And really try to hold in the center. One, two, three. Balance, stability, we need it as we age. Woo. One, two, three. This is third rep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect form. Fourth rep. One, two, three. Push. One, two, three. Fifth rep, one, two, three. One, two, three. Sixth rep, one, two, three. One, two, three. Seventh rep, one, two, three. Chest up, nice proud chest. One, two, three. Eighth rep, one, two, three. Woo! One, two, three. Going against momentum. Nine, two, three. Toe and foot straight ahead. Nine, two, three. Smile. Ten, two, three. Ten, two, three. Eleven, two, three. Eleven. Two, three. Twelve, two, three. Twelve, two, three. Shake it out. Now go ahead and get your dumbbell um, or your kettlebell. I'll show with the kettlebell. When you set up, it's in front of you. You've got a 45 degree angle. We're not here. Right here. You're going to tilt that kettlebell back for a hike. That's it. Don't bend your knees. If you've got a dumbbell, hold it like this. Not like this, okay? Hold it like this. We're going to go for 20 swings. Abdominals tight. Drop the hips. Hike it back. One. Two, don't bend those knees much. Three, four, five, six, exhale hard. Seven, eight, straight up. Not this, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold. Dumbbell or kettlebell, down, RDL, and up for eight. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze them, bring it up. Keep that dumbbell or kettlebell close to your legs like you're shaving your legs. When you get down to the flat point here, don't do this. Shoulder legs back, squeeze the butt before you come up. Let's call this four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Set of kettlebell swings. I'm gonna use a dumbbell this time. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Back to those RDLs. Shoulders back, pack those shoulders down, close to the body. Flat back, not rounded. We've got eight. One. Two. Exhale as you come up. Squeeze, abs tight. Three. Four. Where do you feel this? Think about that. Where do you feel this working? If anything bothers you, low back, adjust or stop. Six, I'm going to call this. Seven. Eight. Kettlebell swings. One more set. Get those hips down. 45 degrees. Hike it. Remember, you've got it as close to your crotch as you can get it. So you're playing chicken with your junk. If it's down here, you get too much knee bend, too much low back involvement. Keep it close to your crotch. It pops off those inner thighs. 10, 11, 12, shoulder height. Exhale, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shoulders back, RDLs. First one doesn't count. RDL stands for Romanian deadlift. Basically a straight leg deadlift. Squeeze. A conventional deadlift with either a barbell or dumbbells starts from the ground and has uh, elements of squat as well as elements of this straight leg deadlift in it. But an RDL starts at the top as opposed to that conventional. I don't know what we've done, maybe two more? <laughs> or maybe three more. Woo, one more. Awesome. Now, promise me you're not gonna freak out with this next one. It's called uh, a roll to squat. Watch, get a dumbbell. I'd say five to eight pounds. Let me show you what the options are first. The dumbbell is here in front of you as you're in. We're gonna kind of do a reverse, like a reverse crunch. So it comes in and then you come to seated. This is the option with an extension. So the dumbbell is close to my chest when I'm in and here. Now really try to round that back out. Round that back out. So that's your option. Maybe try this. Roll, and then see if you can put your weight on your heels like you're gonna get up in that squat. Your dumbbell is a counterbalance. It helps you. Or up to here. Let's go for a minute. You pick what works for you as far as your options. On your mark. And here we go. So you're either here, reaching, or here, kind of shifting your weight, or up to that squat. You gotta keep that back rounded. If you want more still, the dumbbell can go behind you and help with the momentum. Keep that body rounded. Keep that body rounded. Core, legs, butt. We got all of it here. And I'm not standing fully because I want to keep tension on those quads and legs and butt, so we stay low. All right, 
Next exercise, we're gonna get a, don't worry about a dumbbell. We're just gonna do some Supermans right here. So chest, try to lift the chest up. We're gonna hold it, keep your head looking down. Squeeze those glutes and hold 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lower. One breath, and back up. Start with the Superman, then from here you're gonna circle and hands behind the back, and then palms down. Palms down, palms up, down as you go forward, up as you cross into the back area, and extend. Extend, four more. One, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest. Nice back movement. Two more. One more. Fantastic. Lift the rib cage, drop the head. All right, we're moving on up. We're gonna do a lunge hold and a lunge rock. Try it without dumbbells. But if you want to uh, use weight, get one dumbbell. So this is where you've got to really listen to what your knees and legs say. Pick a leg that goes in front. Pick your perfect lunge. And again, an isometric hold. So my knee, regardless of the movement, it's going to stay pretty much within that shoe range. The back leg can be mostly straight, or you can bend that knee a little bit more. The dumbbell, if you're going to use it, stays locked in. All right? On your mark, get set, and go. We're going to stay here for 15 seconds. See how low you can get, but maintaining good positioning without overarching that back. So the lower you get, the more the little bit of a forward tilt you've got. Three, two, one. Now watch, my back heel is going to propel me forward and back. This is a lunge rock. You can move the foot further back or closer. You're gonna keep that front knee within the shoe. If this bothers your knee, just hold it for that isometric. All right? Time under tension. This is very challenging. Very little movement. Very little. We've got about four, three, two, one. Shake that out. Ah! Other leg. Drop it down. Find that sweet spot. One leg would maybe better than the other, so you may need a little more knee bend. So I'm just gonna hold it. Dumbbell in, elbows close. Woo. Awesome. How are we doing, okay? Just holding, keeping that alignment, abdominals in. And then we're gonna start the rock. It's the back heel, forward and back. And again, reposition as you need to. Very small, very small. We doing it? You modifying if you need to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We got it. We're so close. So close. Hang on. We can do it. Keep smiling through it. And we've got five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out. Shake it out now. You're gonna go ahead and grab your band, or tie your TheraBand, or tie your handle tubing around mid-level here, above your thighs. We're gonna take it down. From here, go into that side plank, side elbow plank. We're gonna be doing some side planks with clamshells. 
You can do this without a band and it's very challenging, I promise. So, if you don't want as much on the obliques, stay with your hip down. Otherwise, lift up so that you do have that knee side plank. Now connect your toes and your heels, and then you're gonna open up, trying to keep that connection. Let's try this for about 12. You've got one, hold at the top. Two, three, lift that bottom hip up if you're choosing that option. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Hold it up, hold it up, squeeze that glute knee. Come on, come on, come on, four, three, two, one, drop it, switch sides. And we're here. Strike that position, toes and heels together. Either keep the hip to the ground or the full knee side plank. Directly to the side, two, three, open and hold at the top, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, hold, flip it, do it again. Ready, toes and heels, open, one. I'm adding a little external rotation with my arm. It's always good for rehab for the shoulder. Four, five, that rotator cuff, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, drop and flip, and this side. Toe and heel connected, hip lifted, open. One, two, three, yes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, hold it, 12. Now grab one dumbbell, keep this on but you're gonna scoot it down, mid-shin, mid-calf, and take it apart, right? Take it apart. Give me maximum tension regardless of the type of band. Press, 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 press. Now hold, take that dumbbell through the center or over the top, lift. Keep tension on the outer thigh and hips. Keep the head off the ground. If you want to go one hand at a time, right here. Make sure you alternate hands if you're choosing to support that neck. Hang on, ladies and gents. We've got 15, 14. Keep those legs pulled apart, pushed apart. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, drop it down. Take this out, off, untie yours, get one dumbbell. We're going to say give some love to the inner thighs here. One foot flat. Whatever leg you is straight, open the toe to the outside. Okay, open the toe to the outside. Whatever leg is out, that same hand is gonna support it and add some weight to it. Now my dumbbell is about mid-thigh. Open that toe, turn it out. And we've got our back elbow supporting. Place your hand where it feels good. And you're gonna take that knee, not above the other knee, but about up to it. And we've got uh, 15 more. <laughs> One, two, three. Keep the back out of it, but do contract. Four, five. Right now we're mostly in a V up position. So chest up. Ten. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it here. Ow! Drop 
it. Other hand back, and that foot is now flat. Toe up, turn it to the outside, quarter turn. And let's do it. Yes. Yes, so right now, belly in, and you're more of in a V shape. The next set, because we've got another set, the next set we're gonna do a C-spine to grab more abdominals. Good. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, still big smiles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, Ow! switch. Let's go back to the other side. I know, I'm running out of time. Last set, I promise. This time, look at my spine, I'm going here, C-spine. Same position with the leg though, but C-spine. And I'm adding a crunch, maybe two inches. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We're not going to get to our alligator drags. I'm so sorry. 6, 5, 4, 3, C spine, 2, 1, switch. Don't think about it. I mean, but do. C spine, toe out, lift, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, come on, 6, 5, oh yeah, 4, 3, 2, hold it up, squeeze, 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 Woo! man, oh man, here's what I want you to do, it's called an iron cross. It's a stretch. Arms out to the side. Take one leg to the, toward the opposite hand. My palms are up. Alternating. Alternating. Eight. Seven. Keep the shoulders down. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo. Bring both knees into your chest and lift the shoulders up. Push and press against those knees and shins as you lift the chest toward the thighs. That was awesome, guys. One knee in, take it across your body. Ow! Shoulders down. And switch. Other knee in, cross the body, shoulders down. Woo. One foot flat, other leg up, cross it. Bring them both toward you, hands through the middle. Give it a nice glute release in this way. Woo. Now let's switch. And pull it in. Woo. And breathing. And over to all fours. Toes curl under, push the heels back, head between the biceps, push the heels down and push the hips up and back. Let the head just hang. Walk the hands to the feet, crouch down, hands for support. Uncoil, shoulders, shoulders, breathe, exhale. Wow, awesome job. Thank you guys so much for coming. I really, Really heart you all.